John Mackey found this young attorney at the time, and he felt that this would be the person to really bring us into the 20th century as far as the Union, to organize us, to pull us together. This man has to be the most controversial figure in the U.S. I really believe that you need certain leaders for a certain period of time in history. When Ed had this job, the philosophical idea that as a player, you should be treated like a worker in America was something that, that few people could even wrap their heads around. We refuse to be treated like chattel. We refuse to be treated like fungible, discardable entities. And that was something that shook the core of the owners. They hated Ed, not so much because <laughs> He was smarter than they uh, were. Al Davis, the genius. And he was funny. I hear it all the time. Pays well, takes misfits. So most of you are thinking, I may have a chance. They hated uh, Ed because he challenged their quote unquote right to own men. So the Tex Schramm called his, his uh, team captains in and said, Ed Garvey's a racist. And uh, the player rep said, well, gee, I find that hard to believe. Tex says, that's the point. He hates whites. <laughs> he probably thought Marcus Garvey was my grandfather, but whatever. Ed had the luxury of pushing the union philosophically towards issues that he called freedom issues. Talk to Calvin Hill, player rep, Dallas Cowboys. Dangerous position. Did something awful raised the question with the Dallas Cowboy management why it was that the white players got cars for nothing from the dealers, but the black players didn't. And Calvin Hill finished his career with a different team. To take advantage of the rising tide of civil rights. National Football League still says there's a difference between blacks and whites. Blacks are good on the field, they're not so good off the field. And anyone who has watched this league for all these years, who says there are no qualified blacks to be head coaches and offensive coordinators and general managers and owners of teams, does not deserve to be commissioner of the National Football League in 1987. When I took this job, obviously, Gene wasn't here. The only person that I could ask questions to, the only person that I could confide with, the only person who understood what it was like to have this job was Ed, and for the rest of my life, I'll never be able to repay that debt.